The Albuquerque Police and Firefighter Unions want Mayor R.J. Berry to reconsider his proposal to cut their salaries to fill a $66 million hole in the budget. But both groups say the mayor isn't listening. As News 13's Maria Medina reports, one of them has taken its message to a whole new level. There's a lot of frustration. Diego Arancon wants to know what else Mayor Berry wants. The president of the Albuquerque Firefighters Union gave the mayor several proposals to save the city money in order to prevent the suggested 3% salary decrease. But Arancon says the mayor rejected them all. The 1.4 million in FY11. Including the latest one that he says would save the city $6 million by giving up six paid holidays and delaying pay raises. This union is not alone. The Albuquerque Police Union began its media campaign with newspaper ads earlier this month. And will soon take its message to billboards and the airwaves. The police union unanimously voted to take out $20 a month out of each officer's paycheck for ads to campaign against the mayor's proposed budget cuts. The police union says it too has suggested ways to save the city millions, but feels the mayor isn't listening. Going to the media, that is against the law. It's a prohibited practice. The mayor's spokesperson says the city refuses to comment on contract negotiations. It's a violation of city policy, a violation of the city charter. And so should union leaders. You're going to lose some of the most experienced firefighters we have in this department. Both the police and fire union say slashing their salaries will cut deeper than their pockets. Because if you cut salaries, you're going to cut services. It's, it's just going to happen. In Albuquerque, Maria Medina, KRQE News 13. Earlier this week, the city council began polling city workers about what they think the city should do to deal with its deficit. The online survey includes a question about wage cuts and whether police officers and firefighters should be spared.